again, Guardians, and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny episode. Before we get started, I'd like to first announce I'm giving away a thousand silver for Destiny or a Destiny emblem away from the Bungie store. All you have to do to enter and win for this week's giveaway is be subscribed, share your support, and like the video, and leave a comment down below in reference to Destiny 2. Alongside all of this, though, I'm giving away three copies of Destiny two normal copies for any system, including PC, or a Destiny 2 The Collector's Edition, also available on any system or PC. So if you want to enter in for any of this, please check the video link down in the description of this video to learn how to enter in for any of those giveaways. Alongside that, enjoy the video. To get right into the video, we're going over Wrath of the Machine hard mode raid drops on the new 390 weekly featured raid for Wrath of the Machine. As we all know, it is the weekly feature raid this week, so if you haven't completed it yet, I recommend doing so. It gives you a lot of awesome loot, and it's very rewarding. It's not as rewarding as King's Fall on the amount of weapons and armor and ornaments that you receive, but it's still just as good. So with that being said, we're going to start off on my Titan, because my Titan is the least used Guardian in my arsenal, and then we'll move over to the most used Guardian, which is my Warlock, at the end of this video. So starting off with this, as you all have noticed, I probably have already had your eyes on the full set of Wrath armor. And it's not the complete set of hard mode gear because I'm missing the boots, but I will say this. This is my first hard mode completion on Wrath the Machine with my Titan. That's right, I haven't completed hard mode on my Titan once before. I did normal mode a few times, but that was about it. My hard modes were always saved for my Warlock and my Hunter, and I finally decided to complete it on my Titan, and this is what I got. I ended up replacing my normal mode gauntlets with a hard mode set. I ended up getting the hard mode helmet, the hard mode chest piece, and also the hard mode mark. Now alongside that, I really wish I would have replaced my Greaves, but that's okay. Four out of the five hard mode drops in one raid is completely fine in my eyes. That's actually a really good drop rate. And even though I still have the normal mode Greaves still looks really good because my other Guardians did complete the hard mode sets. At least one of them did. And alongside that, whichever one it was, ended up giving me this shader. The Nano Poesis, which is the hard mode shader for Wrath the Machine. And this shader is absolutely incredible. I'm actually really excited about this shader. It's probably one of the best looking shaders in the game. Black and red look really good together. And on any armor set, this shader's pretty decent on almost any armor set. It looks a little weird on certain cloaks for the Warlock, and we'll show that later on in this video, so stay tuned for that. But, as all, I'm pretty happy with the drops. Now, the headpiece, really weird. So, the ornament originally had a little light bar right here on the faceplate. Pretty normal, pretty standard for Wrath armor with sea banana. It's you know trying to spawn off of it, but then this new armor piece with the ornament is just insane. It your head exploded open, and now you have these sea banana. It's like swarming around your head. It's really weird and oddly placed. And if you actually see a guardian walking around in Wrath the Machine with this on, especially in the dark light room right before you get to Axis Phase One, this is pretty intense looking and honestly is like a giant beacon on the back of your head i just think it's weird in my opinion what do you guys think leave a comment down below and then we also have the gauntlets which the normal mode or the normal ornament that was originally put on this set is pretty awesome then we have this one which is also pretty awesome. This time, the sea bananites that are spawning on it aren't oddly placed. It's actually in a pretty good, decent spot, which is just on top of your shoulder blades, which is completely fine. And then we also have the chest piece, which is actually pretty boring compared to the original ornament. So here's the original ornament, and here is the new ornament. Yeah, I know. Not very much is going on. There's some pixels right off of this part right here, but you can barely see them in the video footage because you have to be in a dark lit room for them to show. And then you've got some pixels on the straps for your chest piece as well. But that's basically anything that's going on. There's nothing else going on with this chest piece. Then we've got the greaves, which I will explain where the nanites spawn. So on the normal mode or the normal ornament that was originally put on this set, it just lights the set up. That's it. Then on the new ornament, which is down here, you actually have these giant Seavite orbs hanging off of the side of your calf, which is really interesting. It makes this giant triangle piece of armor go away. 
and it's just a giant orb. So really weirdly placed, and I just don't like it, but that's my opinion as well. If you have the greaves and you've equipped the ornament, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you like where it's placed? I, I don't. Honestly, I think they should have put like a little one maybe on the top of your foot and then maybe one right here or at least had this armor piece broken open with like an orb hanging out of it, like a smaller orb, maybe even the size of the cursor that is over the armor right now, just not something massive. And that is all the armor. I did not receive an ornament, with, well, not an ornament, but a uh, artifact. Didn't receive the artifact, which is really odd because normally I get a ton of artifacts from Axis, but that's okay. And then I also received a ghost, so really cool. Then I also, alongside that, received the If Materia, and then I also received the Ether Nova and the Ex Machina. Now, my original Ex Machina is Arc Damage. My new one is Void Damage. I'm really looking for a Solar Damage one. I haven't seen one yet. I'm not too sure if it exists or not. I know all my friends have Void and Arc, but if there's a Solar one, I definitely want it. And then for the grand opening of all of the primary exotic weapons, I ended up getting the Genesis Chain, and I also got the Chaos Dogma, which is the auto rifle and the scout rifle. I also alongside that got the Steel Medulla Pulse Rifle in normal version, and I got another Chaos Dogma in normal version as well. And that is all for my Titan Guardians. I ended up getting the Nano Poises, putting it on my Titan just to see how it looks, and that's what the armor looks like with the hard mode shader. Time to move over to my hunter to see what's going on there. Now that we're on my hunter, as you can see, I'm also wearing a full set of Wrath of Machine gear, but is it the full set? Sadly, it is not. I had to put a normal mode set of Nanomania boots on, just due to the fact that I only ended up getting four out of the five pieces of raid armor on my hunter this week as well. Now, I ended up getting a new set of armor. It's actually better than my old set, so I dismantled the old set and started leveling up the new set during the raid. Alongside that, though, I ended up receiving three sets of the cloak. I don't know how that happened. Alongside that, I ended up opening the normal mode chest to receive another normal mode cloak as well. So I ended up getting four cloaks out of one raid. So not too sure how that happened, but it happened. I also ended up getting an artifact, but I dismantled it because that's not an important loot drop. Honestly, it's just a 400 level artifact that goes into one of the memory of the Iron Lords. So rather just use it for that. Then I ended up also getting a ghost. So I ended up getting a 3532 Discipline and Strength Ghost. Alongside that, I ended up getting the normal mode shotgun out of the normal mode chest right after Vosik. And then I ended up getting a zeal vector from Vosik. On top of that, though, completing Vosik ended up getting me the steel medulla, which is the pulse rifle, and the adept version, which is really awesome. And then I ended up getting another chaos dogma from Axis Challenge. Doing Axis Challenge, I ended up getting the chaos dogma adept version. Alongside that, though, I also received the, stool, the Steel Medulla from Axis, the normal mode version, which is completely fine in my eyes as well. And that is all of the rewards for my Hunter. Now, I did end up putting the Nano Poesis on my Hunter as well, just to show off this armor set. Now, if I were to remove the Nano Poesis, the default to this armor is basically the exact same with the Nano Poesis actually off as long as you have hard mode armor equipped. If you have normal mode armor equipped though, you're fully fledged with red. So put the nano poesis on, and that's exactly what the boots would look like if I actually just got the boots out of hard mode. Now with this shader, I actually also like using shimmer. So shimmer with the wrath armor still looks fairly decent. It's a little bit of blue, which is a nice accent to all of the black and white. And to go even further in depth, though, we've got to also show all of the beautiful ornaments. So for the hard mode helmet, you end up having this for the ornament, for the old ornament that was originally equipped. And now the new one, your chin has exploded. Honestly, it's strangely placed still, but it at least looks a little bit better than my head exploded with a giant orb beacon on top of it like the titan so yeah that's basically it 
Now for the spliced Nanomania grasps, here's the original ornament. Honestly, really, really good looking. And then the new one, that's also honestly really good looking. And then we have the chest piece. And then the new ornament, which this honestly is really good. I'm really surprised they didn't do something like this with the Titan's chest piece, but honestly, really good looking chest piece for the hunter. Honestly, it just looks like I can reach my arm through the chest and see my hand on the other side, which is pretty awesome. Then we have the boots. Honestly, not too sure what the boots look like on the Hunter with the new ornament on it. But with the old ornament, basically every one of the light bars that are white just light up. That's the only difference. Then we also have the cloak, which is still really awesome looking. So here's the old version. It just makes the lines where they're red glow. And it also makes the top glow and then the light bar around your neck also glows. Then the new version, you have the pixelated stuff on the top and the rest of the cloak also glows. So not a huge change, but it still looks pretty sweet. And again, Steel Medulla and the Chaos Dogma Adept, which are literally the pride, the like the prizes out of this entire raid. The Adept uh, Pulse Rifle and Scout Rifle, along with having the Auto Rifle on my Titan, all we have left is the hand cannon, so let's move over to my warlock and check out the gear and see if I got the hand cannon, and also look at the full set of hard mode armor. So now that we're on my warlock, we have a lot to go through. So Wrath of the Machine, 390 light level, the weekly featured raid, it gave my warlock quite a bit of stuff, and I was really happy with it. So first off, it completed my entire set of hard mode gear for the first time on Wrath of the Machine. It took me this long to finally get a full set on my Warlock. It's because it wouldn't drop me a hard mode version of the Warlock Bond, but it finally gave it to me. Alongside that, it gave me a new pair of boots that were a higher um, intellect and discipline roll than my previous, so I put those on. And then it also gave me a higher intellect and discipline roll for my helmet, which I put that on as well. Now, originally, I already had the chest piece and the gloves, and I just decided to max those out with the ornaments, and this is what I got. So, yeah, my warlock looks pretty sweet. Um, we'll go over the ornaments in just a second, though. I ended up receiving an artifact as well and dismantled it because artifacts aren't that useful to anybody unless they're the memory of the Iron Lord's artifacts. And then we ended up receiving the Fever and Remedy. We also ended up receiving the Steel Medulla. And I'm proud to say that thanks to getting the Fever and Remedy on my Warlock, I did receive all four exotic primary weapons from Wrath of the Machine Raid, completing my entire set of all 16 weapons across all the raids. So I have every single primary exotic weapon from the raids, and I cannot wait to use every single one of them individually in a video in Crucible to upload to my channel. So that's an easy 16 videos that I believe a lot of you are going to enjoy because a lot of them are going to be pretty funny to watch because I'm probably going to rage a lot. A lot of these weapons aren't actually very good in Crucible and just because they're the exotic forms doesn't make them any better in Crucible. They don't do extra damage. They're crap. The only one I'm really excited about using is probably Fever and Remedy, The Vision of Confluence, and Fatebringer. That's probably the only ones I'm excited to use. But on top of that, though, I ended up receiving the Genesis Chain normal version on my Warlock and also the Steel Medulla normal version as well. So I have pretty much all the normal version weapons out of the three runs I did. Alongside that, getting a ton of the primary exotics, which was also incredible. So I can dismantle the extra ones and get exotic shards. And then I got the Ether Nova. And then I got the Ghost, which had a roll of 32, 35, Intellect, and Strength, which is not maxed, which I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get a maxed Amalgam Shell from the Wrath of the Machine raid, because it is one of my favorite Ghost Shells. Probably next to the Crota Shell. I just like the way the Crota Shell looks. It's just It looks like a weird, dark, mysterious emerald, and I feel like it's been tainted with dark magic, and if I touch it, I'm going to die. And that's probably just why I like this ghost shell. 
also when you go to the cutscene in the Dark Below mission where it says I've awoken the hive, uh, the ghost talking to you looks pretty sweet in that cinematic. I'm not going to show you that in this video, but alongside that though, it's time to go over all of the armor pieces. Now, since I did get all the hard mode armor pieces, I did receive the Nanopoiesis with my Warlock. I transferred the Nanopoiesis over to my Hunter and my Titan to show off the Nanopoiesis on the hard mode armor sets, but with the completion of my Warlock, I finally got the shader. It took me forever to get the shader, and honestly, it is one of my favorite shaders, and I'm really happy I got it, but I'm really pissed off that it took me this long to get it. But my reward drops out of the raids lately haven't been 100% decent, and it took me forever to get that Warlock Bond, which I'm glad I have. Alongside that, though, when I killed Axis in Phase 2 of my Warlock, I ended up getting Weldfire, which is the new shader for Wrath the Machine 390 Weekly Featured Raid. Now, don't worry, if you don't get Weldfire this week, you can go in and kill Axis next week and still get this shader as a reward drop. It's actually a reward drop permanently as long as you do the light level 390 version every single week. You have a chance of getting this, the Sparrow, and the ship. Now, the Sparrow I did not receive, sadly. I really wish I would have, and I've never received the ship either. I don't know what this game is or has against me, but I don't receive the shader, I don't receive the ships, and I don't receive the sparrows very easily. It takes me a lot of runs to acquire that kind of stuff. And honestly, I think Wrath of the Machine ship is probably the rarest ship in the game. So make sure you take the time to farm for it every single week. Be Axis three times a week and try to have your shot at getting the ship because it is very rare to acquire. So um, Weldfire, what's it look like? This is what it looks like, guys full hard mode raid armor set with Weldfire equipped on the Warlock. It looks pretty sweet. I like the orange and the black look, but um, we'll be showing off this shader also on other pieces of gear. But first, let's go in and take a look at the ornaments and how they look. So for those players out there that haven't gotten the ornaments or haven't gotten the gear or haven't even done Wrath the Machine to actually look at the ornaments, this is what they look like. So the normal original shader looked like this or the ornament looked like this and then if we deactivate this that's the original without any ornaments and then with the new ornament that's what it looks like it makes your head freak the freak out with digital effects all over the place now for the gauntlets my gauntlets basically just make my shoulder explode open with sea bananites Alongside that, if I deactivate it, here's the normal. If I activate the old version of the ornament, that's what it looks like. Activate the new version again, my shoulder blades explode. Same thing for the bond. The bond, basically the digital effect of the SIVA logo just goes away and now there's SIVA nanites all over the place. Deactivate that, the logo comes back, put the old style ornament on, and the thing turns red. So, very boring. So put the new one on, chest piece, makes my chest explode open, remove that though, and my chest piece just looks normal. Activate this one though, and now there's red lights on my chest. Then for the boots, basically the same thing. So here is the boots without any ornaments equipped. The old ornament makes them glow a little bit, and then the new ornament makes my feet have a particle effect on them. So really not that interesting, but that's basically the entire armor set and all the ornaments. So I was able to show you all the ornaments this time around because I actually do have a full set of hard mode armor on this Guardian, which in my eyes is still probably the best thing I've received out of this raid. Alongside that though, all the primary exotics. That's also really exciting. And that, Guardians, is basically it for this video. Thank you all for watching and taking a look at my reward drops for all three of my Guardians, my Titan, my Warlock, and my Hunter. If you guys have done the raid, let me know what reward drops you've received out of the raid as well. Does anybody have the ship or the sparrow or the Weldfire shader? Let me know that down in the comment section below as well. Also, if you need any help with Wrath the Machine, I have some friends that are probably willing to help you out 
please DM me or comment to me on this video or DM me on Twitter asking for my help. I'll try to help as many people as I can. Remember, I'm only one person out of the world of millions of Destiny players, so I can't help everybody that comes to me, but I'll try to help out as many as I can with my runs every single week. So I might not be able to get you in for this week's run, but maybe next week I can help you out and add some of you to the, the, uh, the team. Because I really want everybody to get the rewards. I want everybody to have a chance. I just want to help the Destiny community with my videos and my skills as a Destiny player. And honestly, I'm not the best player out there. But I do feel like I have a good grasp on the raids. And can give you guys a shot at a carry through the raid if you've never done it before. I do have all the insight into how to do it. And that's basically just me trying to help you guys out. For helping me build this channel, watching my videos, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you guys so much. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Share it with your friends. And as always, again, stay violent. Be privileged, Guardians. Oh, hi. BBG isn't here right now, but I guess you enjoyed the content. So over there is the logo you can click on. That will allow you to subscribe. More content up there and behind the scenes daily content over here on the vlog channel. There you go. Enjoy.